Hello Taurus, welcome to Tarot Safine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the first week of August 2020, so that would be Monday, August the 3rd to Sunday, August the 9th. And I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit for your reading, and I'll pull one card from The Universe Has Your Back. So let's see what we have for Taurus. For the first week of August, 2020, what does Taurus, oops, what does Taurus need to know for the first week of August, 2020? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the first week of August, 2020. Okay. First card is the Three of Pentacles. Second card is the Two of Cups. Third card is the Page of Pentacles. And the fourth card is the King of Swords. Bottom card is the Three of Wands. Okay, and one card from the universe has your back. One card from the universe has your back. Okay, your card is, it reads, the moment of a realign, uh, the moment, let me start again, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay. Well, we do have the Two of Cups, which talks about a strong connection, a love connection. Seeing eye to eye with someone. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay, you don't have any major arcanas in your reading this week. Okay, so you have the King of Swords in your reading. This is like um, very... Um, cerebral very intellectual smart person this energy this is air with air there's no other elements in it so this is someone who acts in a very intelligent logical way they're very smart they know their stuff they don't put up with anything But with this uh, universe has your back, which reads, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. I think it's saying that um, it's important to, to um, maybe get out of your head a little bit. I feel like uh, you're working on something. You've been working on something. You, you've been given an opportunity to uh, create something. I really get that with this page of pentacles. It's like um, they're trying to manifest something here. 
there's something that you want to create in your physical world with the three of pentacles here um, and uh, I get the feeling that this involves another person here because we have the two of cups two of cups it's like it looks like it's the same person so this is someone who you really can connect with you're on the same page I would even say you have each other's backs I'm almost seeing like the lovers here, the Gemini. Uh, you might be dealing with a Gemini. We have the King of Swords. This is air sign. I think this is Aquarius, but I'm getting this Gemini thing going on. And I'm also getting two heads are better than one. Two heads are better than one, but your hearts are both in the same place. I feel like you're, you've been putting on, putting in the work, and I get a strong sense of partnership. So, I feel like it's not just you, but uh, another person involved here, and you're waiting for, uh, you're waiting to see what the results are going to be from all of your efforts. With this three of wands here you won't you're waiting to see what's going to come of it all you're working towards uh, a strong foundation a, a strong stability here and I get the feeling that this involves uh, your could be your home your home business your business your relationship. I feel like personal relationship and work relationship are connected because we have the three of pentacles and the three of wands here and two of cups. It could be to what I'm getting from these cards is that you may need to seek some advice from uh, someone like the King of Swords. You know, somebody who's objective. They're not uh, emotionally connected to whatever it is you're working on. This person will just give you the straightforward facts. They're very intelligent and um, they can help you see what you're not seeing but if you're doing this make sure to not sacrifice um, anything that uh, involves like where you're putting your heart into it I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly because this person would just give you the straightforward facts but they will not consider whether it's something you actually want to do, if it if it makes you happy, emotionally happy, whatever. So it's really important to know what results you want. And if you're dealing with another person, if it's you and another involved in this situation, you both need to be on the same page. You both need to have each other's backs. Through thick and thin. We have the cross in the background with thorns. So some of this may not be easy. It may take a lot of work. Blood, sweat, and tears. Whatever. That's what I'm getting. But it's important that you, you know what it is you want to manifest. It's something you want to be able to build upon, some solid foundation. And it has to uh, satisfy both of you on every level. 
So that's what I'm getting for your reading for the first week of August. So let me know if this makes sense. Leave me a comment. And if it doesn't, then check back in a week or so. It might uh, make more sense then as things evolve, situations evolve. And also it would be beneficial if you looked at your moon rising and Venus for alternative messages or uh, added information. So yeah, give me a like, share, subscribe. That would be great. And we'll see you for the following read. Bye for now.